So I'm in the studio and uh, not very, not really doing much, you know, jumping from project to project, trying to uh, figure out what the next big one will be. I think it will have something to do with tulips. So I'm in here today mulling over life and painting. Now see this painting? It's kind of gorgeous in some ways, eh? But it's been out to two different galleries and it's come home. I painted it, I think it was six years ago. And there's lots that I love about it. Oh my gosh, it has so many nice details and, and texture and lots of things going on. But you know, when a painting comes back for the second time, then I figure, I mean, you know, it could be that the person who would love it hasn't shown up yet. But it also might be that the painting just doesn't quite, you know, there's something missing. And uh, that's my task to find out what is missing. I think, you know, I've gone to visit it this year a few times at the Flight of Fancy. And you know, what really bugged me about it was that background, that yellow, it just seemed a little too acidy. So definitely I will be doing something with that, but it's hard to know what. Now this painting, it was in Halifax at the Tykert Gallery for a while. I can't recall if it, it might have gone out to be rented at some point, but it didn't sell. And then it was at the Flight of Fancy here in Bear River and still I think it hung for two years and it's come home. One thing, so I want to change, do some color change. The other thing is sometimes an artist will get really hung up in some little thing in the background, like these marks and the marks in the vase and maybe, you know, a little bit of this over there. It's sort of like, oh, that could be that could be a scene in the distance. And of course, when you get caught up in those little things, it's really hard to let them go. I suppose you can think of it this way. You want to wear your favorite top, your favorite shoes, your favorite scarf, but two of them are the wrong color and they don't go together. And sometimes you have to make a decision. So this is the hard part for me, is making the decision what will go and what will stay. I really like so much about this painting. I really love the texture, the colors, the flowers. I think it's quite exciting in some ways. But in other ways, there's somehow not enough contrast with that background. You see, look over here, the blue, the blue seems to work better than that yellow. Hmm. Okay. I'll leave it up here on my easel for a while and glance at it as I come in until, uh, you know, suddenly it'll all fall together. It's usually when I'm falling asleep at night. <laughs> the big aha moment happens. Okay. Well, nice talking to you.